Hi guys, Squall here. Today I'm at Real Farm Driving in Lockerbie, Southwest Scotland, and we're going to be driving a tractor. No, not really this one. This one. This is a Lundini Power Farm 95, and we're going to start off doing some bucket loading, moving some gravel around, and then we're going to do some bale moving. So let's get started. Can you hear me okay? I'm radioing you from inside the tractor. This is a VR180 video, so if you're on a phone or a tablet, just move the device around. If you're in a browser, just click and drag to look around the view. But if you want the true 3D effect, you need to get yourself a Google Cardboard or watching a VR headset. Alright, I'm coming out now. Well, that was pretty cool. Why don't you give it a try? Okay, you comfy? Look below the wheel, turn the key, start the engine. That's it. All right, let's talk about the controls. Your left foot, that operates the clutch pedal. You need to press that when you want to change gear. Over on your right foot there, there's two big pedals. That's it, that's the brake. And just to the right, you'll find a little pedal. That's the throttle. Give it a couple of presses. Great. Now there's two sticks to the right. The first one, that's the gear shift. It's a four speed with a H shift. And that orange button there, that's like another clutch button. The stick on the right, that operates the arm. Pull it back. That's it. And that will lift the arm up. Push it forward. That puts the arm down. Move it to the right, and that will tilt downwards on the bucket. And pull it to the left. You'll see it will tilt the bucket upwards. Perfect. Well, you seem to have got the hang of that. So let's go and scoop some dirt with the bucket attachment. So, left foot on the clutch. Right foot on the brake. I put it into first gear. Now you need to move the orange stick below the wheel and select the direction you want to go. So move it to the right and engage forward mode. Excellent. Now release the brake, raise the clutch, press the throttle. Hey, we're moving. Easy does it. Now drive the bucket into the dirt. Give it some throttle. That's it. Now tilt the bucket up and lift the arm. Nice job. We need to reverse now. So you need to move the orange stick to the left and select reverse. There's no need to change from first gear. Perfect. Now start reversing. Ah, all this extra weight in the front is causing the rear tires to spin. We need four-wheel drive mode. You can't see it, but if you feel for the four-wheel button behind you and press it, that's it. Now we're moving again. There we go. All right. Okay, reverse and turn to the right a little. The drop point is over on our left. That should do it. Now use the orange selector and engage forward mode. Drive over to the pile. Alright, use the stick to the right and just raise the arm a little. You want to tip the dirt onto the pile. That's it. Nice work. Alright, it looks like you got the hang of this. Let's try and move a bale with the fork attachment. Okay, I'm coming up on your right. I'll show you how to pick up that bale of hay. The trick is to level the lower forks and aim into the middle of the bale and drive the tractor forward. There we go. Now it's scored, I operate the upper forks and clamp down on the bale and then I just simply tilt and lift it up. Like that. You got that? 
into the back of the trailer on your left. So I'm going to position the bale like so and lower the arm until the bale rests on the trailer. Now we open the upper forks and the trick is to tilt the forks so that when we reverse the tractor the bale stays exactly where it is. Like that. You got it? Alright, your turn. over to the right by the tree to drive over to it. Okay, open up the fork attachment by moving the stick to the left. Now position the fork and drive forward. stabbed it enough. So reverse back, try again. Okay, that's much better. Now close the fork. Lift up the bale. select reverse. The trailer is over to your left. So drive over to it. Now you might have to lift the arm a little so you can see where you're going. into the back and lower it. A little bit more. That's it. Now open up the upper forks. Tilt the fork a little bit and then reverse. Nice work. We'll make a farmer out of you yet. Alright, I've got one last quick job for you. I've just had word that the farmer wants his trailer back. So why don't you pick the bale off the trailer and, um, well, pop it over by the tree. I think you can do this on your own now. So drive back, open the fork, skew the bale. Perfect. Nice 
Nice job. You picked up tractor driving skills in no time. Well, just over 10 minutes. But anyway, still a good job. Well, I've had a fantastic day here down at Real Farm Driving and I hope you've had a, a taste of what it's like to operate a real tractor on a real farm. Now the link to the website is in the video description. If you want to come down here, you can have a go of that tractor there. You can go four by four driving. You can have a go on this quad bike and you can even go shearing sheep. As for me, I'm going to jump on this quad and I'm going to rip round this field.